All right, in these problems here, we're determining for which numbers make this rational expression undefined. So I look, it's a fraction. Fractions cannot have zeros in the bottom. So for me to determine which makes it undefined, I'm going to take my bottom, and I'm going to set it equal to zero, and I'm going to solve. Therefore, here, if I were to solve this, I would take x squared, I would subtract my four, I get negative four, okay? Then I would take the square root to get rid of that x squared. I cannot take the square root of a negative number, therefore, there is none that make this undefined. I can put any number in for x squared, and my number will not equal zero. Number two, again, we're determining what numbers for, make this undefined, so I don't care about the top, I'm just looking at the bottom. I have x squared minus 12x plus 35, and I'm setting this equal to zero. So I need to factor. Make it into my two parentheses, put an x and an x. My factors of 35 are one times 35 and five times seven. My goal is to get a negative 12. The only way for me to get a negative 12 is a 5 and a 7, where they both have to be negative. So negative 5, negative 7. Then I'm going to take each of these parentheses, and I'm going to set them equal to 0. Therefore, when I add 5 to the other side, I get positive 5. I add 7 to the other side, I get positive 7. So we get positive 5 and positive 7, which is choice D.